I've written Internet Linguistics in order to try and capture something of the fascination that people have with the subject of language on the Internet, and more broadly indeed on all forms of electronically mediated communication. I'm assuming that people have a certain amount of awareness of what linguistics is all about. They know their basic subject matter in syntax and phonology and phonetics and that sort of thing. And on the other hand, they're familiar with some of the basic properties of the internet. They know about blogging and instant messaging and emailing and that sort of thing. The aim of the book is to bring the two subjects together and to do so in a way which reflects the extraordinary pace at which the internet has evolved in the course of the last 20 years. The problem of keeping up to date with it, I think, is the biggest difficulty. For example, in, I'm writing this in 2011, in 1991, the World Wide Web arrives. During the 90s, we have email and chat rooms becoming widely known. Text messaging, blogging, round the turn of the century. Instant messaging, more recently than that. Social networking in Facebook and YouTube, 2004. Twitter, 2006. We're talking about something that's very, very recent indeed. Providing huge quantities of language data, just crying out to be studied. There's probably now more language on the internet, more written language, than in all the libraries of the world combined, and we ain't seen nothing yet in the sense that the spoken language in the form of voice over the internet is in its earliest stages. So internet linguistics is really an exploration of all of this, looking at how it, uh, internet language differs from traditional spoken and written language, how fast the changes are and how they've impacted on individual languages how the multilingual character of the internet has grown over the past 10 or 15 years. And of course, especially looking at the way in which internet studies in language have begun to be applied to areas of, uh, of application that, that previously had lacked a solution. I'm thinking of things like the use of vocabulary studies to improve online advertising relevance, for instance, or the way in which forensic linguistics has an application there. All of this is in its infancy. Internet linguistics is a subject that is at the very beginning. I include some research activities to suggest directions that students can follow. We definitely need more students working in this particular area, more researchers. It's surprising that so little information is out there at the moment. Uh, English has been treated very well, but other languages not in so much detail sometimes. Anyway, this is a very personal account of my approach to the subject, which I hope will be supplemented by others in due course, and Internet Linguistics is a first attempt to get somewhere in defining what I think is a new subject.